tribute as such it's, it's it's more about the music and keeping the music going and uh, it's not really an impersonation of Luke I don't think you could impersonate Luke if you try like I don't think anyone could you know I'm Chris Cavanagh and uh, lovely to be here thanks for having us see the child with the golden hair but eyes that show the emptiness inside the music that I grew up with uh, every Sunday, it was like a, a religion. My grandmother had the, uh, the Dubliners on every every Sunday and, uh, you know, when I was three three years of age, I was singing all those songs. So kind of got into the blood like, like it does with most Irish people, you know, and, uh, and it stayed there. So uh, I went off and tried other kind of genres and played other kind of music for, for years, but uh, I came back to what I loved the most and that was the folk music, you know, the Dubliners. And, you know, and I've been I've been doing it ever since. Really, it's been 20 years on the road now with this. Uh, we call it the the legend of Luke Kelly. It's it's led us all over the world and brought us to, to places we never thought we'd see uh, and I'm very close friends with the, the Kelly family who from day one we invited them to the very, very first show and uh, they still come uh, every chance they get and sometimes they get up and perform with us and people saw them as being a bit rebellious as well you know which back then in the in the 60s like the early 60s and during the ballad boom and all that and the way so many people had gone to England from Ireland to, to work and and all the Irish that were over there just gathered together and when the Dubliners went over there then the, you know became kind of iconic I was only 14 when Luke died, so I never even got to meet him, you know, but, but uh, I think at this stage I've met everybody that he knew, you know, between his family and his friends, and, you know, so it's, it's great music, and I suppose it's, it's something that I'll always kind of keep going. Oh,